So I recently moved into this place and it's a new place and when I came in here what I saw was that the roses that this house had there were six rose plants and they were heavily infested by aphids. So let us today understand how can we get rid of aphids so that our garden is not destroyed. The first thing that I want to share today is that regular checking your plants of your plants your garden is extremely important because in my case also if you see I just didn't bring all my plants here because I have around 200 plants what I did was I came to this place saw the garden checked every single plants and I found that they were heavily infested with aphids and I wanted to treat them first before I introduce my plants otherwise my plants might also get this infection so regular checking of your plants is very very, very crucial now whenever you find the attack of aphids as you can see on this rose plant right now this these are white in color and they can be of several colors like green black and whatnot so what I want to share today is yes insecticide and organic sprays that kill aphids which are easily available in the garden centers they are an option but what can I do immediately to get rid of them if I am at my home and I find aphids attack on my garden number one is if I have alcohol in my house and if I uh, I can use alcohol what I can do is let's say one liter of uh, water bottle I can just mix one this size of cup of alcohol straight in that water mix it well and spray it all over the plant wherever there is aphid attack now when you spray you have to make sure that you're spraying every single leaf the stem the branches the buds the flowers and even the top layer of the soil not one corner should be missed while spraying because if it can be anywhere definitely the top layer of the soil should be properly sprayed with this solution because when you spray the solution on the plant few aphids will drop on the soil and they might not die so you have to also spray this on the top layer of the soil and alcohol will literally burn the aphids similarly they can burn mealybugs as well so using alcohol is the easiest option I would say now if you are someone who does not consume alcohol and you don't have alcohol at your home if you have hand sanitizers which have isopropyl alcohol in them using them is not a bad option because again it's alcohol so what you can do is in one liter of water you can mix 10 12 drops of hand sanitizers because if it's we need to kill them so 10 to 12 drops should be fine mix it well and spray it everywhere even if there are uh, there are plants which are not infested with aphids but are surrounded um, uh, with the plants which are infested you should uh, spray on them as well just as a precautionary measure I would say there are several other options such as using neem oil which is again very easily available in garden centers also you can use your dishwashing liquid I would prefer using the organic ones these are again those options which you can use uh, to spray on the plants to get rid of aphids as the initial level but but the best way is if you check your plants regularly what you can do is in the initial stage itself you will come to know that yes your plant doesn't look good there is some infestation and at the initial stage it's very easy to you know uh, get rid of these things but if it is too much it just becomes more challenging so yeah I would say dishwash liquid and these are again great options now again there is a very great remedy that I've learned from my family I call it the Asian remedy what you can do is you can use turmeric powder if you don't have turmeric powder probably you can grab some for your gardening turmeric powder is a great great ingredient that you can use in your garden because it will kill all these uh, mealybugs aphids and spider mites and whatnot so you can use a mixture of turmeric powder and uh, in the water and you can spray it directly on your plants now let's say you want something else what you can do is you can boil you can have water and you can boil some garlic along with onion in it and this water after it cools down you can straight away spray it on your plants because garlic and onion water will kill aphids and mealybugs easily there is one more uh, thing that you can use as an ingredient and that is mixing your water with any sort of oil now it can be any essential oil there are several available online as well it can be olive oil it can be vegetable oil let's say five six spoons of oil in water or one liter water you can mix it well and straight away spray it. this will also help you to get rid of aphids as well now whenever you see that there is aphid attack or mealybugs attack on your plants just don't spray them 
once you know make sure that you let's say you're spraying them today it's monday then every alternate day wednesday friday then next sunday you should spray it at least for a week so let's say three to four cycles because there might be the possibility that these aphids might come back so just don't spray it once and repetitive uh, steps will definitely help you if there is heavy infestation of aphids or any pest first thing is you should chop off that branch and you should throw it in the bin away from your plants because uh, sometimes it just gets very challenging and difficult to get rid of them chopping off that particular flower bud or leaf or for that matter even a branch is a good idea now there are several flowers which you can plant in your garden which act as aphid trap plants because aphids will be trapped inside these flowers and they are great source of you know saving your gardens and plants from uh, these pests i would say marigold is the best option you can use cosmos flowers you can use xenia you can use dahlia the and you can also plant herbs or in your garden you know every nook and corner you can plant mint leaves basil chives garlic planting these things in your garden will also help the other plants to get stay away from pests but let's say you don't have such uh, so many spaces my personal favorite is honestly marigold what i do is wherever i've planted my other plants and flowers and vegetables for that matter i have definitely planted marigold in every nook and corner that is possible so i hope you enjoyed this video learning about how to get rid of aphids and you should definitely get rid of them because they will suck all the nutrients the liquid from the plant the food from the plant and then the plants will go yellow they will just die in some time and these are really really those unwanted guests that you never want to have in your garden so the earlier you treat them the better it is for you and your garden with that uh, i'll take leave for today and see you in the next video bye bye